on my honor. Okay, welcome back to my let's play of yes. Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition on the PC. We are about to, to head into the end game here. Melisande has revealed herself to be real damn evil. And we're gonna wipe her tushy. I something. Stuff will be wiped. I will do my best. Wiping will ha I don't know. Um It is uh the point of no return though. And some of you may be curious. Since I didn't do um, Watcher's Keep, which is out, has been out there in the world since uh, since Chapter Two, you could enter. Um, usually, you don't go in at Chapter Two; it's pretty difficult. But uh, yeah, all throughout the game, many points you can go into Watcher's Keep, and it's a big old dungeon big old dungeon there are like five or six levels or something like that whole bunch of tough monsters and encounters in there there's a lot of loot there's xp to be had so on and so forth um you know throughout the game i had contemplated doing it myself um, but I was like, eh, I, don't know, I don't know, do I really want to do Watcher's Keep? <sighs> um, and now it's like, I could show it to you, but it's entirely optional, and I don't need the XP, I don't need any loot, really. <sighs> um, not especially. There's a machine there, I think, that can, like, do something to your stats. You can like raise your stats by one and uh, get a little bit of magic resistance, but <sighs> overall, I figured this let's play is going to be long enough as it is, so I'm going to skip it. If you want to do Watcher's Keep, go do Watcher's Keep, uh, but I, I won't show it. But all right, uh, let's do this. I'm ready. It's time for the end. Ho, 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 ho. Looked pretty lewd. As you step into the abyssal plain, the first thing that strikes you is how suddenly alien it feels. A chill wind sweeps across an empty void, screaming in your ears that you are not welcome here. Several strange towering structures are present, suspended in the void by an unknown power. All your immortal senses tell you, however, that the powerful essence of your dead father is close. And that this place is indeed the throne of Baal. This is uh, chapter 10. What is my I see you have finally found your way to the throne of Baal. You should know, however, that you are far, far too late. This part of the abyss was once your father's and might have been partly yours. But it's mine now, along with all the essence of a god. This place is mine to rule as I wish. Mm. 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 I will stop you, Melisande, any way I can. I am disappointed in you, Mang. So much bluster, so much force. How you have managed to blunder your way through the realms and not perish sooner, I have no idea. But it doesn't matter in the long run. You've served me well enough. And now it is time for your essence to be added back to my power. Okay, we have to just fight Melisan. Um, I don't know what to do. Summon an angel usually is my default course of action. And uh, I'm going to 
bring out the black blade and we'll just beat on her and see how it goes. Oh, I got my haste dispelled. Now, did she summon these? Can I death spell them or... I don't know how that works. I can give it a try, but I kind of doubt it'll happen. I don't think it did anything. Let me just see. I don't know if she's ever... She can hurt the planetars, obviously. That's what I expected. I just want to know if the planetars can hurt her. I don't know seems to be preoccupied attacking these other things. Okay. Summon a death tyrant. Fuck. Let's drop a uh, fat dragon's breath. That sucks. That, oh god, that sucks. This is getting out of hand. I think more angels are probably the answer. What are all these other things? Nothing, I guess. Oh my god, stop the screen shaking. What the hell? sucks is we have to go through that whole thing every time I can't time stop you know she's going to be immune almost certainly I see you have finally found your I can maybe improve alacrity but know, however, that I think let's start with one angel then I'm going to improve alacrity God, she started with Bone Fiend, which seems to really do work. Okay, got healed. What happened to improved alacrity? Why does that seem so finicky? It clearly it didn't go off. At all. And now they are killing them faster than I can fucking summon. Okay, they're not, they're not counting as summon creatures, which means death spell does nothing. This is bad. I'm going to run out of cast very quickly. She summons way more than should be feasible. I just got to get ahead of it, but maybe I try a wish. Try and get the rest. Take haste though. Yes, I will do my Not best. really good, but we take it. Um, we're gonna have to wear down her magic resistance, which didn't even seem to do anything. Where did my spell cast go? Like if I actually had six angels out there right now. We'd be in much better shape. The problem is she started with all these bone fiends where actually they're actually really effective. Compared to if she started with something lesser. Okay, that one did go through. Good. Okay, good, good. Good, this is good, this is good. This is good. 
Oh yeah, this is good. This is where we need to be. Should not be wasting time on you. I still have to absorb the ball spawn essences. And there is more than enough power in this plane to keep you busy. If you are wise, you will flee. Once I am done with the essences, I will not hesitate to gather your own as well. Okay, we have to do some sort of little side activity. Yes, done. Shit. What is my as you ask? Oh no, it doesn't summon the Enough! I have gathered enough essence to deal with you. I will wait no longer to end your pathetic life. Prepare to join your siblings. On my arm, it shall be. Dude, this is problematic. Fuck. Yes, consider it done. Fuck. And now I'm gonna lose the ability to cast spells. Wow, wow. This is yes, it shall I, be. Um okay. This is bad. I'm gonna have to employ okay. God. I feel like the only way I see this working is with some extreme cheese. You have finally found where I like what is my task? You should know, however, that you if I can rest in this area somehow, that would be that would be the way to do it. Then I could see it happening. But if I don't oh ever God. get... Why? What happened to me? Death? Death? What? How did I become deaf? Where? <laughs> Where did I become deaf? What the fuck? During my improved alacrity. So I lost the spell cast. And what? <laughs> How did I get a what? To battle. I should not be wasting time on you. Mm. I still have to absorb the bolt on it. Okay, that's interesting. There is more than enough power in I mean, she killed me, but I apparently hit her enough times trigger that which is pretty interesting part of the problem is yes. okay I can load here that's nice where did this planetar come from what's happening And there goes my sword. Elison uninjured. It shall be. Because apparently I've been doing nothing. I can't cast spells, so what's the point? The bone fiends are really the bad ones. What is my 
seems to like stun the angels. Consider it done. Fuck me, I don't even like I don't even know what to do. It's Yes. There's really little potential for cheese. When you're facing enemies that are immune to like almost everything or highly resistant to almost everything. Let me just see. Hit, yeah. So I'm hitting her, but she's not taking damage because she's absorbing something. And I don't know what I can do to re remove that. I don't know anything. That's good. It shall be. Then she brings out the bone fiends and it's just like, well, get fucked. You're about to get stunned and killed. What is my task? Consider it done. Um don't I have I love that. It's like <laughs> There's ten in my bag. And it's like, okay, I only have one slot in my inventory. So you'd think it would just automatically stack. Nope, gotta do it single hand. Brilliant, that's brilliant. I probably don't need more than that. On my honor. I will do my best. I mean, I don't, I just don't, I just don't know. Let's drop a dragon spread. Let's see here. Let's see here. Melisan immune. Immune! To the, why? The most powerful damaging spell in the game. She's just immune. Instantly killed the death tyrant. Everything else immune. It's like that's that's how they combat all this powerful shit. It's just ah fuck it, make him immune. I, I have to like, I have to just like Google what people are doing with this chick. I don't even like. I honestly have no memory of killing this this woman, and I know I did it with a thief. I like. I know I actually did. I remember beating the game all the way through and being really proud, but I have no memory of actually doing it. Okay, solo, just use epic spike traps. And that's probably what I did with my thief, because I remember cheesing a lot with spike traps. <sighs> okay, she's immune to time stop. Uh, da, 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 da. Skull trap. Spell trigger of triple lower resistance. I thought... She was immune to it. Unless it was pure shield, maybe not. Okay. I can try that, I suppose. It what is happening? Be. There we go. Okay. Bell trigger. Oh, but fuck it. God damn it. 
Oh, that's gonna, gonna rest. Yeah. Do this again. Um, lower resistance, triple. I'm okay with that theory. Um, and let's set up a chain contingency. Sea enemy. Forward wilting. On my Good. Own. Consider it done. Now, rest. Good. And... Saspinar is good servant. Oh, I mean, yes. I'll admit, part of the problem is I don't have a lot of defensive spells. Like, protection from certain... Weapons and spells, abilities, and things like that. Um... I will okay. do my best. Let's try it. Ooh, shiny one. Promise that contingency is not going to be. What is my task? I need to hit her with the spell trigger first. You have finally found your way to the throne of Bob. On my eye. You should know, however, that. Yep, that worked. Then I'm gonna s drop a horde, Wilty. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Look at that. Instant. Now, if I could rest, <laughs> we could cheese this real fucking good. What is my task? God On damn it. Yes, very well. Okay. I'm in an angel. And I can hit stuff. Victory! A dangerous mistake. A solid. Uh. Uh. A solid. Okay. You go back over here. You don't get teleported. Done. And now I'll do this. It's possible I could rest there. I don't know. They'd have to put in like a special yeah. thing to prevent I me from doing it, because normally you would be able you. to rest. On my if you're outside of combat. Um. To join your now the question is, does she retain her lowered magic resistance or not? That's really the question. I got boned real hard. I think she did not retain the lowered magic resistance. So... Now I got that shit. I have to hold out. Try and hit her with a stick, but... Really wish I was immune to time stop, like all the other cool, powerful ball spawn. But apparently, I'm a little piece of shit. What is my? It shall be. All right, we're back in business. Let's drop another angel. Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! Please fucking stop! Is leveling up put you at max HP? No. Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. That angel did absolutely nothing. Why is the screen shaking so bad? 
Oh god. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's like... What can I really do except summon more angels? Glad you healed me, but oh my... This is really like a nauseating effect. I don't know why they would make it shake that much that hard there you have it what happened to the other angel just sitting over there oh it's stunned of course it is She got hit by it. That's good. Other angels back. That's good. Getting his ass handed. Screen shaking. Can never tell what the fuck is going on. That's insane. Why isn't there a tweak for that? Turn that shit off. just full fucking healed which is kind of absurd okay we got things sort of under control yes okay there you go What? Again? How many heals do you get? On my arm. Now I can't cast spells. Angels are gonna be unsummoned because she just keeps fucking healing. Healing and summoning. It's nuts. Why is she so much more powerful than I am? On my arm. That shit ain't fair. A skull trap works apparently. Did it? Holy shit it did. What the hell? Why did that work so well? Consider it done. And now she heals again. And I honestly have no way of it's so fast. You gotta be kidding me. Wait a minute, how much skull trap? No, now it's magic. Did that wear off? Dead. Fucking hell. Can I rest? I can. Of course I can. Great. All right, well, then we pretty much win. It's a really lame win, but holy shit. Fuck, do I hate this woman. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't want to do this normally. I, I, it's just... I feel like it's going to take me a few hours just to get the perfect combination of events. No, oh, fuck. Why did I... I wasn't even, I was just thinking about my anger. See enemy, horde wilting, nearest enemy, done. 
Okay, and then we need to set up the spell trigger. Lower resistance. Three. Yes. Done. It shall be. Oh wait, hold on. Enough essence to deal with you. I will wait no longer to end your Okay, we didn't quite get her. That's all right. That's all right. We got more wilting. Gonna try to heal though. Watch out. The tricky bitch. Hit her! Hit her! No! Oh, too strong! Damn you! I must take more essence! I must have more power! On my arm. Works for me! I mean, if you're just gonna let me sleep here, it's all good. There's that level up I was looking for. Good. And, uh, you know, we just keep doing this. Very simple. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe I don't care. Simple as that. Angel over there to hit her a little bit. Level up since we're here. That fired off real fast. Yep, that that we got fucked there. Contingency fired off way faster than I ever thought it would. Um, and I didn't get the re resistance off. So this might be a wash. When normally contingency takes like 10 seconds to go off. That was before I could even hit the space bar. Man. Yes, it shall be. Look at that. Look at how fast that is. Because it must like start ticking during that little pan over or something. There we go. I got it. This is bad though. I'm getting my ass beat by these things. She's gonna beat my ass. Yep, so it didn't matter. Fuck. Alright, I need to be hasted before I do this. I should really be buffed. Because she's getting more powerful. So, uh, whether that means more health or whatever, but I can't, it's, I need more than just that contingency. So we gotta be prepared. It shall be. Gotta be real fast on the draw though with this. That was way too slow. Yeah. It shall I'm gonna be. do it. 
I gotta be faster than that. I don't know exactly when this cinematic will end. But the contingent is already ready to fire. Alright, that might be fast enough. There you go. Nice, that was good. I was wrong. I guess you you can survive with just using the contingency. Yes, consider it done. Kill my angel. Not standing for that. Wow, this is insane. What the fuck are these things? I'm gonna drop a dragon's breath. What are the odds it works? Oh, the fallen solar took damage. That's kind of nice. Just something comforting in that. And then they just heal, of course, and keep shooting me. And I didn't fucking quick save. Look at this fallen solar. Oh my God. I'm gonna die. Kill this thing. Kill this thing. Don't bother healing me. On my Really wants to heal me, but it's not gonna go through because you're getting hammered. Just forget it, you fuck! That spell's never gonna go through! Oh my lord. Kill this solar. Oh my god, this thing is absurd! I don't... I don't... I don't even... What do I even have left at this point? Magic resistance. Look at that insane magic resistance. I'm fucking dead. Wow. This was harder than fighting her was. No, that's not going to work. Dead. All right. All right. Let's give this another try and then quick save after we beat her again. So then I can figure out exactly what to do with that other thing. And I was way too late because I forgot. If I click, fuck it. It shall be. It can one-shot her, but it requires luck, luck and timing. There we go. Good. Now I'm gonna quick save, so we'll be, we'll be here. We'll be good. We'll all be good. We'll all be good. All right. Now, yes, just wait. I'm going to summon a few of you. You're going to need the backup. It's okay, because I can just sleep after this. All right, get in there. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. I'll drop some... I'll drop a comet. Maybe that'll do something. I mean, why would it do anything? Oh, it knocked a couple unconscious. All right, that's good. That's good. I 
on my honor. Nice, nice. Fuck her day up. All their weapons don't even work against her. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. That's bad. What am I gonna do? Skull trap. Okay, I think skull trap worked. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. Oh, God. This is it. Come on. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? And now I'm fucked. And now I'm fucked. And now I'm fucked. What can I even do? Fucking finger of death? What are the odds of that? Magic resistance. Fucking, oh my god. Evil mind will never work. I mean, there's surely. Oh god, the dispel. Fucking. Yes. Jesus, this isn't even the main boss. This is absurd. it again uh because that seemed to do something um then uh let's god damn it it's it's this solar that's just obscene obscene i tell you Stop your weapon. Don't even do anything to her. Maybe my black blade a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some level draining going on there. Oh, yeah, that's what I should have been doing from the start. You ain't casting shit. Yeah. I can do what the angels cannot. I can rest. Yes, I will do my best. All right. Whew. We're doing this. We're doing this. slowly but surely. We're doing this. Um, set up uh, paste. Set up the spell trigger. This is lower resistance. Triple. Chain contingency. See enemy wilting done. Black blade of disaster. And rock and roll. All right, I gotta be ready on the quick draw here. Oh shit, she said something. Oh, god damn it. 
You are stronger than even I imagined. So be it, man. Yeah. I have to reload, though. That fucked me up. Okay, so now that's another step. But that, that might be okay, because that means I can just double tap it. There we go. 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 Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Come on, hit her. Fuck! No! I lost spells. I lost my blade, so it, that fell apart. I mean, this is why I feel like no reload. How can you even do this? No reload solo. I, I, I can't even comprehend it. Yeah, get fucked. mentioned has come god child there is a choice before you you have prevailed against all that have assailed you and now you must decide your fate the vast majority of the soul essences of the children of Baal, lord of murder now belong to you and you alone you must now decide what to do with this power be wise the choice is irrevocable Am I able to give up the essences? Is it that easy? You may surrender that which you have always possessed. The rest still remains within a melison and must be dealt with. And there will always be consequences. I shall tell you your options. First, you may choose to surrender that portion of the essence which remains with you. It shall be given to a melison and her soul with all the essence it contains shall be destroyed. You may think this brutal, but Amelisan has welded the essence to her own soul. Foolishly. And there is no other way. The price of ambition is always high. Surrendering the essence will allow the gods to remove its evil taint and hide it well within the halls of Mount Celestia, forever preventing it from soiling other souls. You, Baldspawn, would be made immortal, free to continue your life with a destiny of your own choosing. But the manipulations of gods will no longer be your concern, and your soul will be untainted. And my other choice? Once a Melisan soul is destroyed and the essence released, you may accept it into yourself if you want it, and the throne of Baal will be yours to command. You have fought against the taint of your father with great vigilance. It is most impressive. Impressive enough that I would be willing to remain by your side. The power you may claim will bring new enemies and the attentions of evil gods such as Sirith, who usurped your sire's godly role by the Edict of Al, the Overfather. I will fight by your side and help you achieve whatever destiny awaits in the plains. Your future is unknown even to the gods, although it will certainly be a great one. The choice is difficult. But these are your two options, Valspawn. This is where your destiny is realized, and your future begins. The time has come to make your choice, Valspawn. What is your wish? I do not want the essence of Ball. 
Do what you will with it. I want to remain mortal. Then you shall begin life anew, mortal, without the taint of your sire upon your soul, and the essence of fall shall forever be hidden. You have done well, and freedom shall be your reward. Your decision has been made, Godchild. Now the act must be carried out. Prepare yourself. Very explosive ending. Your divine essence slowly fades, and for a moment you feel empty, incomplete. It is frightening, but soon yields to a new sensation, one of hope. With your closest companions at your side, you are free to live out your mortal life, no longer a pawn of Baal's prophecy. The adventure draws to a close, but there will be more to come. Even as a mortal, you are to be looked upon in awe, and your power commands attention, both friendly and otherwise. Your life is yours, as are the trials to come. As years pass, tales of your exploits shall spread far and wide. And bards will sing your name along with heroes and villains of legend. Your life may be mortal, your time now finite. But the mark you have left upon the realms will endure. And that is Baldur's Gate 2. Done. All completed. There's the pits thing, but that's really just like a series of battles. Uh, as far as the story of Baldur's Gate 2 is concerned, it is done. Um, yeah, pretty incredible stuff. I know we cheese stuff, but I said at the start of this, there was going to be some cheese. Um, yeah. Um... There's a lot of CRPGs out there, you know, games, RPGs in this vein, isometric style, a lot of dialogue, building up your characters, companions, all that sort of stuff. Um, Planescape Torment gets a lot, a lot of praise due to the, the, the story, most of all, and the, the characters, the writing. Um, and that's a great game. Don't get me wrong, but for me, uh, Baldur's Gate 2 is my favorite. And... You might... I mean, yeah, you might be wondering, like, about... The, some people, as far as, like, solo versus playing the game normally, some people would never even consider playing the game with just one character and not having companions because the companions and all that is where a lot of the game's interesting story and dialogue comes up uh developing these relationships with these companion characters and stuff like that and having a proper group um and i don't mind that it really comes down to just gameplay for me because like if it was turn-based like divinity original sin 2 or something like that um i have no problem playing with a big group of characters because it's all turn-based um i like that but with this, there's no turn-based. It's all real-time with, like, pausing. And it just becomes too much for me to manage uh, and still have fun with, like, a big group. You can have the AI work and just sort of do basic shit, but that's then, then I feel sort of what's the point. So for me, for Baldur's Gate 2, I just prefer to do it solo. I find it just the game fun when I do it like that. But uh, a lot of people enjoy 
very much just playing uh, with all the companions and role playing and blah blah blah. So yeah, I definitely recommend Baldur's Gate 2, one of my favorite games of all time. I cut out a lot of Chapter 2, like I said, um, and to be honest, uh, Chapter 2 is like my favorite part of the game. Like when you're when you have all of Ethcotlet or run around all these side quests to do, that's honestly my favorite part because there's so many cool quests and you're not all powerful or anything like that. You're, you're just starting out. There's a lot of dangerous fights and situations you can get into and you have to be sort of clever with your cheesing and or or whatever. You have to just be, you know, those are the fun fights to nothing's really totally immune to everything or any crazy shit. Uh, it's just good stuff. So it is like my favorite part. And so it's sort of odd that I cut most of it out of this Let's Play. But uh, I recommend picking up the game yourself and doing it yourself. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's really much else to say. I mean, obviously, I'm a big fan of the game. And <sighs> it's nice that they came out with the Enhanced Edition with ultra wide support and all that good shit but uh yeah maybe someday i'll do some other let's plays of some more of these crpgs um maybe Baldur's gate one someday i don't know maybe planescape torment i kind of want to just do icewind dale by myself um i had played that game way back in the day after doing Baldur's Gate 2, I was like, oh, there's Icewind Dale. There's more of this type of game. Yeah. Uh, and then I just got my ass completely handed to me. Like, it was it seemed absurdly difficult right from the start. And then I, like, never went back to it. So now that I'm older and wiser, maybe I'll give it another shot. But I don't think I would do a Let's Play of it. But that's that. Check out Baldur's Gate 2. Please do. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out, of course. I don't know if it's going to be isometric. I mean... Uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be isometric. It's going to be like Divinity Original Sin 2 and 1 and 2. Because it's being developed by Larian. I wonder if it'll be turn-based. That'll be interesting. I hope... I kind of hope so. I mean, it's not what Baldur's Gate is, so they might switch. But I'd be a little... A little sad, because I like the turn-based stuff. Maybe there'll be an option, but that's sort of hard to... Sort of hard to do both ways. Anyways, that's enough. Before we go over an hour again... <sighs> My name is Meng. Game you just finished watching is Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. I'll see you find folks around.